two. I'm vlogging or not. So we had batteries dying on this camera. So we missed a bunch and we had audio issues with the backup camera. So we're gonna shoot this again. And you're like, oh, I wonder why that is. Well, that is because this is day three of post-op LASIK surgery. Nate, it was definitely an experience. Uh, I recommend everyone to have it done. If, you, if you're eligible for it and you have glasses and stuff and you can afford it. So we should just be recording full screen now. So the first thing we're gonna take a look at is some photos from this past weekend. I did two projects. One was a car and one was for KES Chronicles. So let's start with the car first. Uh, this was a little different for me. As you see here, like we did a couple different like, I mean, I never done a car. So like I was trying to figure it out. I watched some clips, looked at some stuff. And then like, I tried to just kind of like, I'm, my main goal was like focus, car. That was my main goal and just getting like good photos and guy did it for is really happy with the product um, he's super excited um, i mainly did like a try to do like a dusk dawn edit maybe some quick holly overload uh, shots uh, this right here this shot was one of my favorites along with another one of just his hand um, i just i just like the simpleness of it I like the tire shots too, they turned out, I'd, I'd like to done it a little different, redone it, like got the tires just how I wanted it, but, uh, I'd have been, this would have been hard to kind of coordinate, I feel like, my first time doing this. Uh, just did a lot of side shots, um, down the sides, trying to get like logos and stuff in it. Um, this front end shot, I wish I had squared it up a little more, and did it a little different. Um, got a little more all the car there you can see it's got a little bit of a tilt on it um, I can fix that and then this right here was their car club SO Elite and then uh, these two low angle shots might be my favorite shots this one right there and the one before and then it was just just more like side shots that was what I went with um, this was one I threw a little bit of sunlight glare in it This was a lot of people's favorite, which I like this one, this edit of that picture over the other picture, but yeah, hey, it's, at the end of the day, it's their, it's their photo they paid me to have done, so um, I think I ended on another car shot, yeah. So that was, that was the shots of the, um, the, uh, of the car. The photos now I did a video and I don't like it and this will be the only time it's ever shown uh, the idea was he was gonna take a long drag of the cigarette and then he was gonna bring it away and the camera was gonna follow and then it was gonna go through transitions on the cart with all the logos and it was gonna end kind of panning up coming in I tried to freehand it because me and the gimbal was fighting and that's what me and the gimbal's gotta get better at. We gotta get where we're not fighting. Because that was a major problem. With the gimbal, this would've worked. This idea would've worked with the gimbal. It didn't work because I didn't use the gimbal. So this is it. It's... It's... If you look, you can see the shake in there. You can see like it's really not that clear. I should've, I should've did stuff a little different. Probably ran a little too much autofocus, a little too much jumpiness to it there at the end, but I wasn't happy with it. I told the guy I wasn't gonna like. I took the risk on doing it because I'm I thought I was better at video. I thought I might be able to put something together better video, but I was wrong. So then the other project from this past weekend was the KES Chronicles Driven Shoot. This had a lot of early morning stuff to it. Um, just a lot of different shots. Uh, a couple that I, I really like was probably going back and it was probably this shot right here, the first one. I really like that. Um, I did like this one of Jep and then uh, 
this one of the decoy was it this one yeah this one of the decoy i really i really like that um them tangle free decoys man they just like from like the normal eye man they don't like i mean i didn't i did a lot to it i mean i darkened it and stuff because we're getting a little later in the day but, i mean look i mean it still looks good there i just darkened it and made it more of a dawn shot um just more of jet and stuff it really it really turned out really well uh, i like this kind of over over the shoulder shot um, another over the shoulder kind of shot um, this one of jet sitting there uh, it really turned out and then a couple a couple decoy shots i really like the way it turned out it turned out really well i think There's a couple things I'd like to change maybe on, on the sh on the photos that I took, but I mean, it's a learning experience. That's pretty much what I'm doing is grinding this thing out, trying to learn. So that kind of wraps that up. That was the photos that I chose out of like, I think a hundred and a hundred and some. That, those were the top 30. Okay, I actually finished this after I did the first vlog because I did. So you didn't get to see the uncolor graded thing, but we're not, we're actually not going to get through this because this is going to be released. Um, this is just, just, this was, this, this right here was about, this shoot was kind of cool to do because it was more of a personal level, had really, didn't have as much to do about hunting as it did about raising a dog and owning a dog and it being your hunting buddy, which that's what Brandy is to me. That's what Jed is to Justin. That is what Drake is to Tyler. That's what anyone who owns a dog, it's, it's a friend. And a lot of times you don't ask a person to, hey, how long are you going to be, how, how much longer does your dog have to live? And that's pretty much what, what it comes down to at the end. And I mean, I understand Justin, Justin getting a little, feeling a little emotional there too, because I'd feel the same way about Brandy. Um, that was kind of something that I really liked about it. It, it got a little emotion to it. It got a little... I still couldn't get him to open up and be exactly emotional how I wanted him to. Like, we, I know what he wanted to say, and I know how he, but he just kept kind of rolling back to like a political thing. When I play, when I say political, I mean he was giving you the political correct answer of like what every every single person's thinking, not his individual self. About like, for me, Brandy is. I mean, she means a lot. I mean, we now have one of her pups, Nala, and. I, and Brandy means more to me than Nala does. And I mean, I've got to get my training up with Nala and stuff, and we're a little behind. I think we're behind Tyler and Katie and everybody else thinks we're right on track, but I feel like I'm behind with her. But we're getting there, but I don't care if I shoot anything. I care about if if Brandy shoots something. Not really shoot something, but if she, she doesn't get to shoot, but she gets a retreat. I care more about me not pulling the trigger once and her picking up a limit. It makes me happy. Like her getting retrieved one duck made that hunt worth it for me. Her getting one goose makes it worth it for me. So we've got a lot of work to do with her still. I mean, she's three and her her big problem is she just doesn't have the kills in front of her. But this year, hopefully that'll change. We're, um, we're gonna be changing gears here with the Chronicles. And it's going to turn into a five hunt series, which is what I wanted it to turn into. We've done three episodes and turned into a five hunt series. That'll put us at eight. And then we're going to wrap back around after eight. And we're going to finish it up with four episodes in the spring. So that'll be February, March, April, May. So we'll probably end on a turkey hunt, which will be awesome. It'll, we'll probably end maybe on two turkey hunts. Maybe that's how we end the Chronicle Series 1 is maybe on like a dramatic turkey hunt or something. I, I don't know. But I like the way this is going, this series. Um, the Catfish Series, Adam was busy. Adam went away. Adam had boat problems. So Adam's still away on vacation with his family. And with, that's awesome and whatnot. So he's gone right now. So that that's on hold right now. In the next vlog, we'll get a little more into that stuff. Um, we're probably gonna shoot it tomorrow and get it going. And then 
vlog ten, that'll be vlog ten, and it's it's gonna be a, a inside peek. It's gonna be a lot of just talking straight on about what's going on and what my thought process is for things coming up and things I have planned, and then we're gonna have vlog eleven is the head trip, which will be me and Tyler. We're leaving and going to Tennessee. Maybe doing shit, maybe in Alabama. Um, we're supposed to go to the one in Tennessee, but like it's kind of backtracking, and I'm trying not to be like, I'm trying for us not to like get in the like Little Rock at like 10 o'clock at night, and then try to get something to eat and go to sleep, and then get up the next morning, make the trip miserable. I'm trying to like get us a little downtime and stuff. So we might switch up boats, and we might go to a boat dealership in Alabama, which is kind of be dropping down and on the way. So we're gonna hit it. And then we're going to head up to, um, head on over. So we're going to do, that'll be the end, that'll be next weekend. So we'll be vlogging that, Instagramming it, Instagramming live in it. So that's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to go down and get the new Havoc. I'm pumped to get the boat. Um, I think me and Harrison and Tyler's going to put this thing to work. Uh, Adam with us, um, Ryan with us. I've got to try to figure out how we're going to do these hunts and stuff, but... I think it's gonna be good. I'm pumped. I'm pumped. This, this is gonna be awesome. It really is. Uh, we've got some stuff figured out. I, I learned a lot last waterfowl season, and I think we're gonna I think we're gonna get into it this year. Um, might hunt a little bit smaller of a group, or I might have some people bring some bring some boats because this is a smaller boat. But the purpose of this boat is to go to Arkansas, which is in January with Cody and them. And I don't even know if Cameron and stuff's going. Um, that all depends on whether I get a Pelican case or not. I'm not rolling the dice with the backpack and, and the boat in Arkansas. I'm trying not to roll the dice now. I'm trying to like get um, a Pelican case now. So I'm trying to land some photo jobs. Um, I'm probably going to be posting some stuff up, some photography stuff up asking if people are looking for some photos to be done um i, j I just want to like i just want to make some money on the side and get that paid for but i'm family now so i may cut this off sooner but that that was what this vlog was about it was kind of a little faster than the last one was because like i deleted my notes because i thought we were good but neither cameras died so this has been a win so hey till next time we'll see you later